depending on what time it is. Good morning and good evening. Um, I'm not quite sure what this tutorial is supposed to entail, but um, I'll just get started with it. I always get asked quite a few questions on um, the software I use, uh, where I get it from, where I get um, some of my sound effects. Um, just general questions on what uh, tools I use um, to make the um, machinima movies that I do. So I've got this window open here and I guess I'll just start from the very beginning. The first thing you need is something um, well I guess to start off you need to have World of Warcraft installed and have an active account because that's essentially where you're going to be logging on to um, acquire your uh, background footage but in order to do that you need um, a piece of software to actually record so um, whether you're aware of it or not if you go to wegame.com you can download a free client here all you have to do is register the installation is relatively quick um, you'll just have to choose um, what directory you want to save the video file in and uh, what quality you want the video in because you do have an option to um, have it record at a slightly lower quality if you're obviously trying to save space but you can save it at a slightly higher resolution but the file size will of course be bigger but the quality will be better uh, the software is free so all you got to do is go to wegame.com make an account download it and install it and um, all the instructions are pretty much within there all you really have to do is assign which button you want to record and uh, which button you want to take screenshots with so that pretty much wraps up uh, where you get the uh, software to record your footage from. Next thing, now um, I always get asked how do you get a wild map viewer working. It is not easy to explain, but to sum it up, um, wild map viewer will only work on a copy of World of Warcraft that is patched up to 2.4.2. Now that's a very old version of World of Warcraft. Now what I've done is I've saved two separate copies of World of Warcraft. The main copy that I have, which is on my external hard disk, that has got Wrath of the Lich King and that is fully patched. I use that to play World of Warcraft. But on my main hard disk, I've got a second copy of WoW and that is only patched up to 2.4.2. .2. This is the reason I'm able to use uh, WoW Map Viewer and uh, one of the best working versions of WoW Model Viewer. So I hope that makes sense. But it is a pain in the ass to do because you know you don't want to go through the whole installation pro process, yada, yada, yada. So for the sake of convenience, if you go to wowprovider.com, if you ignore this talent calculator bullshit, just go to Model Viewer. Just bear with me, the PC is slow. And you just simply download. Now this Model, view model Viewer will work with Wrath of the Lich King models. It is a bit buggy. It does crash now and again, but it is fairly solid. A couple of chat animations are missing, but it does work fairly well. So now you essentially have access to character models and also the spells. So that covers um, software to record and uh, where to require the character models. Next thing you need is um, somewhere to edit that all. Now I use um, Sony Vegas. Well, Vegas Pro 8 to be exact. Exact. Now it is pricey, 455 frickin' quid, well 524 if you toss in the frickin' VAT. But uh, you can download the free trial. It's easily done, you just simply click that. I don't want to go through the process because I've already done it. And you can um, just install it, you just need to uh, fill in your details and you'll get to basically use it for 30 days. So, you know, it just gives you a chance to experience the software and um, gives you the opportunity to decide whether or not Sony Vegas is actually suitable for you or not. So all I can really say is, yeah, just download it and give it a shot. If you want to learn how to use it, I have covered that in another tutorial. As I said, this, tu this tutorial is focused on the stuff that I uh, primarily use. Um, well, once you've got stuff to capture your software with, when you, uh, you have access to the character models, and you have software to edit with, um, another question I get asked is what do I use to record my voiceovers with now I use cool edit pro that does cost but I also use this frequently and it is free it is audacity uh, very impressive piece of software very simplistic as well so it doesn't take very long to get the hang of it and I've already made a very small tutorial on how to um, create certain voices so all you gotta do is head over to this website audacity.sourceforge.net and simply download it it's a very small file and you'll be set to go 
So that covers on how to uh, record your own voice. Uh, lastly, which is a bit on the side, quite a few of the sound effects I get from this site, Sonomic. Um, all you have to do is go to the front page, type in the sort of sound effect you're after. Now bear in mind, this, the search engine isn't exactly prime rib, but it does do the job. You can find quite a few sound effects, and you can download a lot of them for free. All you really have to do is, like, for example, if I typed in a swoosh, or whoosh, I can't remember, I'll do swoosh in this case. Just bear with me while this uh, net connection tries to load it. Oh god, it's probably not going to do it. Oh, here we go. So you just basically get arrow swoosh, uh, badminton racket swoosh, basketball net swoosh, blast off. It's just all a whole myriad of things, up to 15 pages, and that was just one keyword. So you can actually narrow it down with the searches. Now it does say price if you want to buy it, but that's for higher quality. All you really have to do is click any of the icons, the, either the QuickTime icon or the Windows Media Player. If you click on that, it will play the file, and then all you have to do is go to Save As and then save the file. The quality will be lower, but just be glad that you just got a sound effect for free. And that is all. Those are basically some of the basic tools that I use to achieve um, the machinima that I make. So I hope that uh, this information comes in handy. Right, I wasn't really going to put this, but I'm going to anyways. Please stop PMing me with, when is Warcraft 5 Galaxy Star 7 going to be released? Now, I am grateful that a lot of people are looking forward to it, but I get PM'd on it constantly. And they just give the same response like a robot. Uh, I honestly don't know when it is going to be released. And why, why on earth people are claiming that I'm not editing it is beyond me. Look, here's the freaking project. Let's give it a sec to load. See, awesome. Kills guy. <laughs> but just be patient. I've still got a lot to edit. And I am learning along the way. The software I'm using right now is this, which is 3ds Max. Which uh, essentially allows me to import the Warcraft character models and just create my own animations. Now, if you are interested on uh, trying to do this yourself, um, you can head over to uh, Hybrid Machinima or www.iwkya.co.uk and um, you can just basically read up on some of the questions that people are posting. Also, um, a new section has been added, Sony Vegas, which is the section which uh, I'll be responding to. If you do have any questions on you know, normal Warcraft Machinima, or maybe uh, 3DX, uh, 3DS Max, um, I'll see what I'll be able to respond to. But if you do have questions, do feel free to post in this section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also post in the comments section or PM me on YouTube. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Thank you one and all.